Uh, my name is uh, Evaristo Chilombo. I'm uh, the research assistant here, also in charge of practicals at uh, Zambia uh, University Co uh, College of Technology. As an institution, uh, we take very serious uh, consideration where practicals are concerned. And this is the very first time that in, uh, in Zambia, an engineering institution puts uh, advantage, let's say, puts insistence on uh, the practicality of a student because we have issue, issues here in the country whereby a student finishes school and is not able, I'm talking in terms of electrical engineering and engineering as a whole, is not able to hold the players, is not able, able to do house wiring, for example. But here as an institution, we start the basics of electrical practicals. You cannot go to second year if you don't know how to do house wiring. And then the microcontroller uh, situation. Now, we always talk about uh, you know, getting uh, technology from the so-called experts. People that are from abroad, they come with what we call ICT, uh, wrongly. But this is just exactly what we call a microcontrolling. This is the heart of engineering everywhere in the world. And uh, now you'll see that uh, engineers finish in institutions and they don't know uh, microcontrolling. And that gives us a very serious problem because as a country, we cannot learn new technology if we don't know the basis of those technologies. So now we have taken that as a ZUT. We start microcontrolling, that is uh, with uh, open source uh, controllers from the first year. By the time our children are in the, our students are in the fifth year, they should be able actually to do industrial uh, applications of microcontrolling. Not only that, they have to know what other people knew years ago. That is knowing how to make a transformer, knowing how to rewind a motor. And these are the, 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 this is a kind of knowledge that people should carry in the industry. Because when they go in the industry, they have an issue. And the biggest issue is they have to start learning. Reason why it's very comfortable here in Zambia to say you need two years experience, four years experience, and you have to work for five years for you to be given uh, uh, what uh, uh, the license to practice. Uh, look, a nurse in Zambia is uh, trained for three years, and 70% of that time is practical. A teacher is better trained than an engineer here in all the institutions. And we took that as an insult. As an institution, we, are, we want to change the trend so that our students can be able to be actually ready to be used. So you try us. In one year or two years, try us. Get our students and you see the difference between these other institutions and the way we train, the way our first students are going to come out because it will be a game changer. This institution has come here to change the way engineering is trained. And thank you.